So, as you know, my name is Diego Alba de los Corrales. As Daniel said, I has been working for many years in engineering company concerning projects about uh, chemical, petrochemical, upstream, and uh, compression station. Uh, I very specialize in the interface between the compressor and, and the process because uh, there is an area that is not very well known by the, the rotating machinery engineer and uh, neither by the process engineer. It is the interface between the process and, and, the, and the compressor. So now the purpose of my speech in the upstream gas treatment plant, normally the gas treatment plant, uh, they take uh, uh, it is taking the gas from the wells and the gas is treated. So there is a moment during, during the, the, the production of gas from, from, from the world, during the production and treatment, there is depletion in the wells and uh, it is necessary in certain moment to lift the pressure coming from the wells and to install a centrifugal compressor in order to adjust the pressure to the required pressure of the, of the treatment plant. So we discover uh, in two, in two, first in one project in Algeria, another project in Oman, we discover that in certain circumstances when there was the possibility that the required gas to be exhausted by the compressor to the, uh, to the flare, uh, uh, the amount, the mass to be transferred to the flare uh, was higher than the desired mass of the existing flare system of the plant. So, of course, it is, uh, uh, the idea is don't touch the, the existing plant installation for the reason neither the, 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 the design of the, of, the flare, of the flare system. So, uh, my presentation show a way how to resolve this problem in order that the compressor can exhaust all the required gas to the flare without uh, increasing the design of the, of the flare of the treatment plant. It is necessary first to know how a treatment plant works in order to take a very, very good overall picture of the situation. We are <coughs> in, in upstream plant, the, there, is, there are the wells of raw gas. <coughs> this gas, at the beginning of the exploitation, first, the, the pressure in, in, the, in the wells normally is very high, sometimes more than 300 bars. So normally this plant, eh, the required pressure uh, to be fit the gas in the plant is more or less between, according to the, to the process, is more or less between, for example, uh, 80 to 90 bars. So at the very beginning, in the walls, we have pressure enough uh, to send the gas through a shock valve. In the walls, we have a shock <coughs> We have here the wells, we have a shock valve, and from the shock valve, the pressure from the well could be at the beginning 300 bars, and with this shock valve, we reduce the pressure till this pressure, more or less according to the, to the process of the treatment plant, 80 or 90, or 90 bars. So, <coughs> the treatment plant eh, are integrated by different units. The first, normally, it is the most normal uh, installation of ice stream treatment plant. The first unit is a, a, a mercury removal. Then, from the mercury removal, the gas is going to a, a CO2 removal using amine, an amine plant to uh, capture the, the, the CO2 from the gas and to send to the amina and to treat it later on the amina. 